Hello. It's time for another game of Scooter Against the Spider Woman. Bad lady that she is. Yeah, and how about me? Well, you're not a bad lady as far as I know. Are you? I guess you're looking at camera, right? Right. So, on with the game. Are you still recording? No, I can stop any time. Did you read that story about the backdoor plan for Ukraine and Russia? I saw the headlines. It's oh, boy. So oh, there you go. I just uh, watched one of these things I recorded, practicing as it were, and I kept finding moves that I could see watching the recording that I didn't see in real time. It's a strange phenomenon watching yourself make mistakes. Crane six, I got two sixes if you go, and that's seven. Both of them uncover something, and I really like to uncover. So I'll do that one because it's got the shorter stack closer, as it were, to a hole. And it turns out to be a pretty good move. I think I'll do both this and that and that. There's no stopping me when I'm on a roll. So, that was pretty good. Second deal. And, uh, it's sometimes in my theory about how this game works, about how Madam Spider accomplishes her statistically unlikely magic, is that she might let you run on the second deal just to see what you're going to do, see if you're going to do anything tricky. Of course I'm not. I just make the obvious moves, of which I see no more. You oh 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 oh. See, oh. if I had seen that watching the recording, then I would be so miffed at myself. You know how that works. It goes like self. Yes, I'm miffed at you. That's the way it works? Yep. Okay. I mean, who's going to argue with your hand? I just saw something. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Are you good there? Is it? Yeah, that was good. I think that's about it. So I will deal. And we... Nine, no ten, six, no seven, that's a queen, no king, got an eight, no nine, and a nine, no ten. Boy, that was an unproductive deal. A hand of bland. Okay, three tens and a king, a jack. This one first. I could have done this one. This gives me that, though. That would have given me just a sort of smaller version of it. I go for the big. Go for the big. I hear a big. I hear a jet. I hear that subsonic rumble. Well, this frees up a six that I don't need, so maybe I'll gamble. Take that one back and do that. Which gives me a six I don't need. Of course, it's a different color. Let's double check. Do I really not need it? I really don't need it. So I'm not going to do either of those. All right, well, I think I'll do this one because, you know, because <laughs> why would I do that when I get, boom, a score with it? Who knows? Not great thinking. But great thinking these days is 
you know, I guess like all days, relatively rare. That was my pre-deal music. What was that song? Really familiar, I have no idea the name of it. A three to a four, staring me in the noodle. Two to a three, queen to a king, jack to a queen. Jack, oops, got a five holding itself. So let's just move it on and do that. Sorry about the itchy nose. There's no nose like an itchy nose. Obvious move. Stay conscious stuff. Stay conscious. No, four, no five. Well, there's a five. Should I? Should I really? Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know of another move. If I see it in the recording, I guarantee I'm going to smack myself in the head. The old head smackaroo. I don't see any more moves. Last deal, hit it. What's wrong? Why aren't you dealing? Because I wasn't doing it right, apparently. I hate ever to admit that, but... It's frequently true, so I better get used to it, huh? Ah, a little, little last burst of action, as is so often the case on the last deal. Because Madam Spider is depleted of her back and forth capacities with the um, ready reserve. You gotta be ready for that ready reserve break. Is that it? Are we done? Not quite, not quite. I guess I could go there on the other one. Does it really matter? Six, seven. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I've got two kings that can go to that, I mean tens that can go to that jack. That would leave me a red jack, which I've already got one of. This would leave me something I don't know. Let's check it out. Oh, we gave away a dollar. Got a three, which will go to the four. I've got a name home. I love holes, my friend. Let's see what this does. Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can do a little restack there. That's productive. Eight, ten, jack, four, three, two. Ah, ah, ah. Let's just. Boom it. Right up on top. Score. When it's so late in the game and so unexpected to make a score, it's not just a score. It's, I don't know, victory. Some kind of exoneration. Something you didn't even know you needed exonerating for. So that comes along as a great, happy surprise. So I'm in the black. 632 made $82. Got to hit 550 to break even. 500 to play, 550 to break even. That's the house margin. And 632 is 82 over 550. So I made $82. And it's not to be sniffled at. You know, in a game like this, $82 is $82. Seems perfectly obvious. End of game.